again, you sit here and you, and you, you hear about it and you feel kind of helpless and what can you do to help? Is there anything you can do about it? And uh, it was something that we just thought of and I ran it by some players and they said, coach, I'd love to go. And uh, I, I will tell you what, uh, we talk about resolve and resiliency is talking with these parents, how brave they are uh, and, and seeing it firsthand, it makes you feel helpless as an individual. Uh, but again, it's, one, it's something that I'll always cherish, I'll always remember, and uh, it's the least that we can do. And uh, I'm gonna look forward to having all those kids. I wanna do something special for them at the halftime of our spring football game. And that's something that walking out, and you know, you walk into a room and there's a little girl who can't talk, but she sees you and her eyes light up and she's in a cast and she's giving you a thumbs up. You know, and that's something, you know, that, that I'll remember. I know our players will remember for a lifetime. When, when we got in the car to drive back to the airport, it was silent. And I think it's something that uh, they will take with them for a very, very long time. And when you're a parent of three and you have a, a son that's the same age as them, I think it puts things in perspective about life and how fragile life is and not to continue to go, but I, I want to encourage everyone to keep all them in their thoughts and in their prayers because that's what that's what it's all about. This community, this great state coming together, one Tennessee and being together to help each other through these tragic situations. Thank you.